Hello, everybody. Welcome to our channel. Today, we have invited a very interesting project from Brazil, Montaña Bitcoin. It's recently growing Bitcoin community, trying to follow an example of Bitcoin Beach from Salvador, as many other communities around the world, and create a Bitcoin circular economy. We have Lucas Leiva with us, uh, one of the founders, or the founder of this project, so we can ask him everything about it. Lucas, welcome to the channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thank you, Ivan. So please, uh, first of all, tell me a little bit about, about you. What was your life before and uh, how did you enter into a Bitcoin world? Okay, um, I, I used to be a farmer before every, uh, all this uh, thing about building Bitcoin communities happened with me, right? So I'm an agronomist, uh, so I used to be a farmer until 2020 before the pandemics. Uh, so I was growing some, I, I, I got um, agroforestry. And also I was um, growing so organic food. So I I, ha I used to have a organic farm, but when all the, this pandemic arrives here in my city, um, I started working with AI. So I completely oh. changed my entire world working with AI. So I started working on the internet, right? Um, at this point, uh, my, my city here, uh, Santo Medas Letras was the last city in Brazil to arrive uh, COVID-19. So we we have a uh, we close everything. It was only working at the supermarket and and the drugstore for eight eighty months, eight cool. months. So um, at this point, I was already on Bitcoin because I okay. I met Bitcoin in two thousand seventeen. Um, for from a friend, she just uh okay, I got this new thing about called Bitcoin. I I I I think maybe you you may be interested on in that and. As I was, I grew up as a, a punk rocker. My my mother was an anarchist. So yeah, it's just okay. That's that's the uh, the solution for to break the system, right? So that's what brings me into Bitcoin in 2017, right? And and in 2020, in the pandemics, we start uh, growing a crypto community here. So we we had a project with Dash at that time. So we started doing uh, crypto payments. Um, after that, I start. Um, I, I see opportunities to work on crypto space. So I I become a blockchain expert. I was working in the in the business uh, business business space, and I was also working as a project analyst. I was studying all kind of blockchain is and and shit country, right? And in two thousand and and at the end of the uh, two thousand twenty two now. Uh, I received an invite from Fernando Motolesi to go to Jericoacoara to meet yeah. the, him in the prior Bitcoin project. And it completely changed the game, right? Because I already knew him for, from 2020 when we started the project here and he started the project there. But we started uh, in a completely uh, wrong way and he started in the right way as a Bitcoin only project, right? Um, so I was invited to spend one month in Jericoacoara in a project called, called Casa de Satoshi, nice Satoshi's house, where we spend a whole month with Bitcoiners at this house. We uh, promote this uh, first Bitcoin carnival uh, in the world in Jericoacoara. So, yeah. And when I saw what he was doing there in the in the community with uh, crypto uh, Bitcoin payments using PayOS machines with Bitcoin cards and uh, the project with the kids at the school, it whoa! It's just blew my mind. Oh yeah, the kids are the future. They are the this is the the real way we we need to build a, a Bitcoin city, right? So I spent one month there with this project uh, with. To, to, to make this event, this Bitcoin carnival in the first month in the Satoshi's house. In the second month, I was uh, he invited me to work in the Fruits for 10 Sites project, right? So at the second month, I, I was working every day. I was buying fruits and taking to the school, um, selling fruits for sets every day at the school with the kids. And yeah. That's where I fell in love with the project. Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do in my city. Right? That's what I want to do in Santa Maria's Letras. Um, at this the second month, we are 
also working on a, on a on a startup to build the payways machines and the board card of, of the infrastructure for build the uh, Bitcoin communities around the world, right? And in the third month, I start working in, uh, it's where Montaigne Bitcoin was born. So I start uh, working on the project. It, it's still in Jericho Quark, right? So uh, I set up all the nodes, uh, the PayWest machine, the boat cars. I, I build, uh, uh, we, we, me and Fernando Botolazzi, uh, we build the whole infrastructure to start the project here in Santa Maria Lit. So he was my mentor. Yeah, uh, in these three months, I learned a lot about bit uh, more about Bitcoin, about Lightning Network, um, and how to run a node and how to build uh, this this concept uh, circular economy. I, I never been have, have never heard about Bitcoin circular economy before that, and yeah, that's that's how it it started with Monte Bitcoin, and then the next month, I. Come back to the mountain, start the project, set up the node, uh, give the boat cards to the kids, and start the first frontend sets project. So that was your motivation to see what what was happening in Jericho. Uh, how that uh, the name is very difficult for me. Uh, the yeah, Fernando Jericho project. Park. Yeah. So you saw that, and that was your motivation to create your own in uh, in your community, right? Yeah. Okay. So um, what is what is the approach? To create awareness in your community, what what are the steps that you are following? Yeah, um, we make we make some uh, events at the beginning in two thousand twenty when we start this uh, this project to build a, a city we call it city of the future, right? To build a real citadel because uh, here we uh, since I was born we believe that here. Uh, in Santo Medas Litas, it's one of the uh, seven chakras of the world. So it's one important wow. uh, place, right? So it's a very energetic place where we believe when the, we give um, a beginning of a new era, right? So when when the apocalypse come co arrives and everything goes down, um, we, here is it will be one of the places that will survive, and then we will, uh, build a new uh, model for society, right? So that's wow. what the we, you know, we need to go there. We need to go there then. Cool. Yeah, that's what that's why in the in the pandemics we close the city. No one can come in or come out. If you go out of the city and come back, you, you have to uh, go for a quarantine for two weeks. So that's why we, we survive and have no deaths for 80 months, right? So, uh, so, yeah. you, you, uh, so you are doing meetups, uh, you are visiting the local shops, try to uh, onboard them. What, what you are doing? Yeah, we started uh, doing the onboarding with the merchants. So we have 23 merchants. Uh, we, we, we have board that wants to be onboarding on the project, but uh, after some, some time working, uh, uh, living the Bitcoin standard, uh, I realized that uh, it's not about uh, bringing more merchants because we have the, we, we always say uh, the chicken and the egg problem, right? Because uh, I'm the only one that it's fully living the Bitcoin standard here in, in Santo Tomé. So uh, I can't spend in hundreds of merchants my Bitcoin, right? So um, so we, 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 are, we are keeping only this, each, uh, uh, it, it's 20, 23 merchants, should be 21, but we have more than that. Yeah, but my, our focus now is on the kids because it's so hard to explain Bitcoin and convince someone, oh, Bitcoin is better money because Adults are hard to convince, right? And the kids, they don't want to know about Bitcoin and what, how it works and uh, why it's better than fiat money because they don't even know about fiat money. They just uh, know Bitcoin as money. So we have uh, these bold cards. Okay, here. Here is our Bitcoin card. And then we are uh, bringing fruit here every day and you can buy with your Bitcoin card. How oh, Bitcoin is money. They don't need no more than that, right? And so... Our focus is on the merchants, on the kids, and now uh, we we are, we start um, our educational project with a partnership with my first Bitcoin. 
So ah, I got yeah. one here. We we print we printed here. Uh, I have a I got a printer here. So very oh. very yeah yeah that's all good. cool. The, all the books here, and we were planning to uh, start uh, our first class uh, soon with the my diploma Bitcoin from my first Bitcoin. Yeah, I think this. It's for uh, I, I think knowledge. It's it's the best way to cheat about Bitcoin. Tell, uh, say uh, talk about Bitcoin every day, right? I think this is uh, this is the way. Uh, and the kids, it's a long term relationship, right? You you don't uh, build a society, a new model of, for the community in in a week or in a month, right? I think we should uh, look in long term, and the kids are the best way. Yeah, we, we saw that in, in other community also that the, the best approach is targeting the kids and the, then the kids are bringing the, the parents and, and yes, raising exactly. a little bit of awareness. So tell yeah, me a little this, bit about, yeah. Tell yeah, me this comes about, from the Bitcoin beach in El, El Salvador. Yeah. yeah, it started there. It's the kids approaching, right? Yeah, okay. Tell me uh, about that the thing that you were doing. I was saying that on the Twitter, uh, fruits for... Uh, Fruit for 10 sats of fruit for kids. What was that? Tell me about that, please. Yeah, uh, that's what uh, bring me to all this uh, circular economy in Jiricoquara. So uh, in Jiricoquara, they, uh, well, we buy fruits every day at the local market. We buy with Bitcoin. We pay with Bitcoin for these fruits. Uh, we take it to, to the school for the kids and then buy with Bitcoin using their boat cards. So we have about i think now 300 kids with both cards in jericho okay, so where... you 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 giving those cards to the kids so they can buy uh fruit yeah it's like yeah. okay yeah here here we 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 buy the fruits at the supermarket uh twice a week twice or or three times a week um we take to the school and sell for the kids do they they have 200 both cards and they pay. They do payments uh, with Bitcoin. We have, we do around almost two hundred uh, payments with Bitcoin every day. Wow! Yeah. Okay. If if somewhere, uh, someone or in somewhere they do more payments in Bitcoin every day, I don't know where. But I mean, uh, as as I know, it's here in Jericoquara. We do hundreds of payments every day, right? Yeah, yeah, it, and it's amazing because. Um, sometimes they don't even are excited about the fruits itself, but they are more excited with doing the payments and using their card because they it's it empowers for them, right? They oh now I have my own card. I don't need I don't need my father's money. I have my Bitcoin. I can spend on fruits every day, right? So yeah, we we already got this project at Jericoquara, and when we bring here to Santa Maria Letters at Montanha Bridge Coin, we improve this. Uh, so, uh, now the, uh, the, 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 the school is taking care of everything. Cool. Uh, that's, they, that's, they, that's, that's excellent. Uh, what they is buy the, the fruits, yeah. they get the fruits, they operate the machine, they do everything. I don't need to be there. Uh, I used to be there. I go there for like, I think maybe three or four months. I was doing this job every day, going in the morning, in the afternoon, doing, uh, uh, the, the selling selling the fruits for the kids every day, but now the 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 school work, workers and the director they are taking care of the project. Wow, that's excellent. Tell me, what is um, the hardest part about explain Bitcoin to the people? What is the hardest part to explain them? Yeah, I think uh, be, the people they think they know what money is, right? So when we start about uh, talking about Bitcoin to explain Bitcoin, uh, first we have to explain what is money, right? We we can you, you can find this on Diploma Bitcoin. Uh, you can find this on Bitcoin Standard Book. Yeah, it's the first step because people think they know what money is, but they don't know. They have no idea how it works, right? So I think this this is the first step because when when they know what they when they understand how money works. Okay, this is money. This is how it works. This is the uh, fiat money, and this is Bitcoin money. 
okay, this is way much better money. That's no why not uh, using Bitcoin, right? So it's only it is, uh, explain them how is it working, or or, or it's only necessary. It's also necessary explain the technical part about the Bitcoin, or not? Yeah, I did, I did not. They don't need to know about the blocks itself or how the technology, the blockchain works. I think this is not necessarily, you know. Uh, I think they need to know about this, uh, the scarcity, right? And this is a superior uh, way of money. And this is faster, it's cheaper, and there's no control of the government. Yeah, you can you can use it uh, worldwide. I think that's it. It's not it's not very hard because if you go uh, deeply and in, in to teach them about the blockchain, they will uh, yeah. stuck mind and they know. Oh, I had no idea what you are talking about. It's so hard to me. They, 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 they the people always say for me, oh, Bitcoin is so uh, so so hard to understand. No, and to use no, it's it's simple. We have like hundred kids, more than hundred kids, two hundred kids at the school. We've uh, they have like four and five years. They are using Bitcoin every day, so it's, <laughs> it's not it's not hard to use, right? It's 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 simple. It's very 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 simple. Okay. Right? And now, now we have uh, I think five projects with fruits for sets. So we have Jericho Para, We have here at Montana Bitcoin. We have in Suriname, one project in Suriname. We have uh, at Bitcoin Ekazi in Cape Town, uh, and also Bitcoin Kampala at Uganda. Yeah, oh. it's five points of selling fruits. Okay, that's very nice. What are the goals for the future of the, for Mon Montana Bitcoin? Yeah, um, our, uh, the long-term goal, it's to build... Uh, a Bitcoin city, a citadel, right? Where we have uh, a more eco community, right? Uh, as using Bitcoin as money, we are also focus on, on on technology. Yeah, in in a long, 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 long term, it's the build a new model for society. As I told you about the the seven chakras of the world, right? But in the short term, it's to keep in keep doing it. Yeah, if if you we we keep the the fruits for 10 sets for 10 years, for example, it will be, we, we, we have to do it, our job, right? Because they will be uh, using Bitcoin for 10 years and eat, eating um, good food. Yeah, that's that's already a, a lot, right? But yeah, the uh, after that, our uh, next focus is to use, uh, be, uh, start the, Bitcoin classes with the kids okay. and the teenagers and also the young adults, right? So they can know about Bitcoin. They can work in a, in a Bitcoin standard. They can build a wealth a wealthness in a, in a, in a Bitcoin standard, right? Uh, yeah, I think this this two is a, uh, this two is the main focus: the kids and the and the knowledge. But we we um, we plan to expand the commerce. The merchants we have one of, i have the 100% uh the mer merchants here accepting bitcoin but yeah it will take some time we 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 earned some eight eight more um pay west machines from okay. bitcoin nice from private coin project so you uh put them on the merchants and you have 10 we we have 10 machines till the end of the year um yeah, I think is yeah we 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 plan to open um a space maybe a Bitcoin house or a Bitcoin office some some place where we can um onboarding people teach them about Bitcoin not only teach them on the streets but um uh, a place where they they can go oh uh it's accessible right I have this place where I can go and learn about Bitcoin yeah, it's not only uh where they can change their money, they can change the uh, the bad money for the good money. Yeah, I think this this can uh, this this is one of our goals. Uh, and in the future, we wanna build the school, right? We have we, yeah. we wanna have our own school where we can teach the uh, on, no not only about Bitcoin but about other stuff that can make uh, uh, 
you have us to build this new model of society. Yeah, that's fantastic. You, you're doing a great job there. In, in your opinion, uh, how Bitcoin can help in countries like Brazil? Yeah, because uh, I think Bitcoin, it's uh, for our project, for example, we have a crowdfunding campaign. So yeah, um, uh, the most of donations we receive are from other countries, right? Because, uh, it, for example, if someone donates from US or from Europe, uh, their money worth five times five times than ours, right? So yeah, it's it's uh, it's a way to cross border uh, worldwide the money, right? And in Uganda, for example, in Africa, they receive like more than half Bitcoin the first day. So yeah, and they are also giving um, food for the kids every day. They bought they bought um, bed for the kids that don't have where to sleep. They were, were sleeping on the floor and they receive a good donations so they can could buy a uh, bed for the kids every uh, well, so they can sleep on, on the bed, not on the floor anymore. It's one of the ways they can help. And also we have, uh, they can protect ourselves from the bad governments, right? Yeah. So now I have, I, I see uh, a lot of people concerned about uh, the future of a culture if the actual government. So, okay, uh, I want to buy some Bitcoin to pro protect myself. If I, if I need to go to another country and I have this, uh, this hard money that no one can take me. Right, I think this is the so Bitcoin can help with social projects because uh, has no borders to for donations that we are uh, what we are doing. We are building uh, social projects all over the world. Right, uh, they can protect the individuals of the country uh, from the government, and yeah, it can also uh, we can also see Bitcoin as investment, right? Because they can not only protect your 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 value. Uh, on the time, but yeah, you can uh, build wealth using Bitcoin. So where where they can people find you if they want to support you or follow you or your social network? Yeah, we are uh ma we are main uh it's main media. It's on Twitter, so you can find the um, Montaya Bitcoin, right? Or Lucas Leva. That's my uh, personal profile. Yeah, or you can uh, sell your our project in uh, donate.montebitcoin.org. It's our yeah. fund campaign, so you can you can send some sets. You can see what what's our plan, right? You can uh, read the project, right? Yeah, that's where you can find us. Cool. So, what what would be your advices for other community that want to start Bitcoin circular economy? From your experience. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's start start spending sets, right? So to start a Bitcoin circular economy, you need one merchant, and you need to go there, talk, uh, teach them about Bitcoin, uh, spend their uh, Bitcoin. Um, I have some places that I go, uh, twice or three times a week at least. So I I pay my lunch for Bitcoin. I go to the market, pay I just supermarket pay with Bitcoin. I cut my hair with Bitcoin. I take a coffee with Bitcoin. So yeah, if you oh uh, no one who sex Bitcoin yeah, but no one spends in Bitcoin. I think I uh, spend. It's more important than accept because everyone wants to accept Bitcoin, right? Yeah. Every, everyone wants money, but no one wants to spend. And yeah, I think the, the spender uh, culture we need to to. Uh, to grow this spender culture, I think this is this is what uh, build a uh, circular economy, right? Because uh, that's what what uh, changed after I go to Jericho Quad and come back. When I when I saw okay, I buy I, I give my bitcoins here at this coffee. I buy coffee here uh, and buy some some stuff for my breakfast here at this coffee shop. And okay, but what this guy makes with his bitcoin? Because if he sell this bitcoin. I'm not bringing more Bitcoin to the community. It's running away from China, for example. They, yeah. They're selling on Binance, right? So it's it's about bringing Bitcoin, spending Bitcoin, circulate, circulate this Bitcoin and keep this Bitcoin in the community, right? So yeah. uh, I, 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 uh, I prefer, for example, if I have got two restaurants that accept Bitcoin and I got this one that is uh, selling this Bitcoin and the other one it's, 
it's it's spending his Bitcoin. I will I will prefer go to this one to uh to keep this the circular economy running, right? Yeah. Okay, that that's great. Uh, I have uh, Lucas. I have a uh, last question for you. What does Bitcoin mean to you, personally? Bitcoin changed everything. Changed everything. It's politics. It's money. It's education. Yeah, it's it's, it's another standard to live, right? It's yeah. it's a way to live out of the system and kind of out of the system, but a new system that it's more equal, right? And it, it, where you know the rules and the players, right? Yeah, that's great. So. Thank you very much, Lucas. Uh, we are very appreciating all the work that you are doing. It's very necessary building more communities and spreading awareness about the Bitcoin. So uh, we think that uh, that's the that's the way to protect us a little bit for the future. So thank you very much. I thank you very much for this interview. Yeah, thank you, Ivan. Uh, just um, um, leaving a last message. We also have a startup called Bitcoinize. So you can ask if you want to build a, a Bitcoin circular economy, you can access their Bitcoinize.com. We are we build software and we, we build hardware to do Bitcoin payments. So you're selling uh, PayWest machines and bolt cards. And yeah, I think uh, the, this, these cards, uh, it's, it's for the unbanked, right? Because uh, if someone don't have uh, access, we have more than 2 billion people in the world that don't have access to banking, right? Yeah. So with this, you can just, okay, here's your card and you can buy uh, at the, all the stores that have the US machines without having a cell phone, right? They can buy, they can receive money only using a card. Yeah, we, we, we in Ijerico Quara, we have this guy, uh, this old guy, Antonio, we, we, we give him a, a boat card with some sats and he goes to the supermarket and he, when he's come, he come back, he say, oh, how do I receive my salary in Bitcoin? Because <laughs> at the first time in this almost 80 years, he was, he felt enclosed in the financial system. Yeah. yeah thank That's you, great. Ivan. Okay. Thank you very much, Lucas. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.